So it's like there's selected Islamic patterns from like the Ottoman era, from like mosques and you know the Alhambra and places like that. So they're just selected from you know from, from reference photographs and whatnot. So I think the patterns are like a really good reference point for my work. I think because they deal with issues such as space, depth, you know, and the idea of an like X, Y, and Z axis. So you don't quite know if it's at the front or if it's, you know, at the back or if it's actually on the wall or if it's like a complete structure floating in front of the wall. So I think that's good. But I think the main thing is that the, the patterns, like my, my vision and remembrance of them is that they're always colourful and they're very, very emotive. And I'm not sure, like, you know, like colour, you know, evokes emotion and I'm, I'm not sure if I kind of really like that. And so the idea was to like take away the emotion and deal only with space. So you know like and space is really, really important when these patterns, you know, are in a mosque or, or whatever. So like, yeah, I mean like I think that they, they help balance and address an issue, you know, of, of sort of guidance for the rest of the works. So like maquettes and sculptures and whatnot. So even though like Islamic patterns aren't referenced in sculpture, my, in the sculpture that I make or the maquettes and the drawings especially. But the space, the idea, that idea runs through continually through the work. I think the process of installing actually really opens up this sort of dialogue with people that walk through the space or the people that, you know, that the space is normally used for. And I think, I think there's nothing greater than meeting people. I think people are really, really important. And so they make the work, they make art. It's, you know, like when we make stuff, it's just stuff but then the people come along and it becomes art. And, then, and it's their interaction with, with the work that, that really brings color, you know? Uh, the, the lack of emotion or whatever is inherent or visually on the exterior of the work, you know? It, the, the interior of the person comes along and completely transforms the space or the relation between them and the work and the distance as well. So I think that's, yeah, that's beautiful. I think it's really, really important to meet people. I think that's, that's key and I think it's, it's good if art can bring people together. The first thing that I ever saw in my head was like standing outside, looking through the windows, the curved facade, looking onto the wall. So like I instantly knew that that's what it was going to look like. It was going to be three squares. And um, yeah, I, I don't know, I think, I think light is really, really important, but also the darkness is also important as well. But then again, also it's, the, it's, it's a number of factors. It's light, dark, and then it's people. And then, you know, it's the natural lighting or artificial lighting as well. So, yeah.